Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. I was getting some requests uh, today and yesterday about the about the video that we did over the weekend, the Nerd Chat, the uh, Christmas special, a few sites that I was uh, referring to, and Jacob as well. So I wanted to take the time out this evening before the holidays hit to actually put together a video about what good sites are out there that I would recommend and some people I know would recommend to learn cybersecurity, web security, and a few other things out there to uh, get started, right? Obviously, there's a lot of different material out there, you know, and let's just get started. And before we get started, please like, subscribe, share. And if you like my work, you know, just let me know. And This is just fun, you know, in the evening time when I'm hanging out, throw on the camera and say hello to the world, right? So, you know, obviously, if you found me, you're on InfoSec Pat's site and, you know, I have a whole bunch of cool little videos. I try to make it fun. So, um, and one more thing, you know, obviously, before we uh, get started, happy holidays. Hopefully, everyone has a safe and healthy Christmas and New Year's. Um, that's why I got my little Jingle Bell Santa hat. But enough of all that. So, the first site that I would recommend, it's awesome. It's called Try Hack Me. There's, you know, I have an account. I have the free version at the moment. Um, they have a $10 a month charge that you can, for example, let's just, let's just go check it out, okay? So what we can do, we can, uh, we can learn, practice, and, and complete. This, you know, for example, a complete new beginner It'll give you the basic Linux, get familiar with the Linux command line, you know, maybe if config, ls, cat, bat, you know, so, some basic stuff. Web, web application security, this is something that I need to brush up on because I'm not a big web guy. I'm going to be 100% transparent. I'm more in the network security. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty proficient with the network security. So, uh, scripting challenges, you know, this is something I need to brush up on as well. So this is, you know, I'm, I'm here with you guys. As far as Python and Bash, you know, I, I know how to read code. I can read some stuff, but writing is a totally different beast. Um, privilege escalation. So it gives you the, the fundamentals. So you can, for example, enroll in this path, right? Obviously, uh, we would have to log in, but I'm not going to log in at the moment. So, you know, you can have hacti uh, activities and then different modules, Linux fundamentals. And you can do, okay, right here, free, 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 for example, VIP, right? You can see this down here. Let's click on VIP, ah, crap. Uh, you know what? Let me just, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna log in, but it, 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 you just set, set up an account and you can just um, go on different, you know, network fundamentals. It gives you a whole bunch of cool things. And obviously the VIP is $10 a month, I believe. All right, so this is awesome, and um, a lot of good, you know, people in the community uh, provide awesome labs and awesome uh, challenges on this site. So hats off to the contributors. So that's the that's the first site I use this site, and the second site I use is Hack This Site. Hackthissite.org. You can go to, for example, the different challenges. Let's uh, let's zoom this in a little bit. So. The challenge is basic missions, realistic missions, application mission, programming, etc. So you can go with whatever missions you want. For example, basic missions, you have to be logged in. Um, I do have a login, but I don't remember my password because it's it's a long password and I have it in my password manager, which is on my other machine. This is a virtual machine that I'm doing this, um, this video on. So you just log in, you can see the different kinds of challenges. This is free. Um, I, I, I've been doing the free ones. I'm not sure if they actually have a paid version. Um, I don't know. I don't really jump on here too, too much. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a web web guy. So this is something I'll probably be doing in 2021. I want to get more proficient with my webs, uh, web pen testing and hack the box. 
Hack the Box is is fun. I uh, I was doing this last year a lot more than this year, and just because of uh, family and I had some stuff going on. But this is a little more difficult. You know, I, I wouldn't say this is for just like the newbie. Um, in order to, for example, let's go ahead, uh, individuals, and for example, we want to sign, join now. So hack this site to get the invite code. So you have to like inspect, obviously I'm not gonna go through this. You have to inspect, you have to pretty much hack your way in, right? So, you know, there's, um, there's a whole bunch of good information out there if you want to, you know, get it, you know, get hints and, you know, click here for the hint. You should check your con, you know, check the console, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. All right. So this is the third one. The fourth one I just st stumbled upon a few weeks ago is hackingloops.com. You can actually, and actually another one that I use um, is Vonehub. Uh, let's actually Vonehub. And we'll get to that one. I almost forgot about that one. Um, so yeah, so you can go ahead and download uh, practice test, pen testing, web application. I just, like I said, I just stumbled upon this this week. Um, I haven't dug too deep into it, but it's pretty much similar to um, a lot of the other uh, sites, I believe. Um, we're voting in Metasploit to hack deeper into a network. And it'll give you um, the rundown of the lab. You know, this is gonna go out and, okay, internal blue, that's a, you know, that's a Windows, um, Windows Server 2008 R2 uh, backdoor. It's just a vulnerability out there. And I guess it's, it's also on Windows 7. Um, you know, it's gonna give you a little description about it and like I said, I just stumbled upon this when I was talking to some mates and some friends, ethical hacking and information gathering, you know, some cool stuff that you can use to get out there to get some information gathering and some, some, some of that cool stuff. You can just, you know, it's hackingloops.com and you guys can check it out. The next one is a, it's pretty cool. And this is the one that I was getting a lot of questions about. And I just heard about this this weekend from Jacob that was on our nerd chat. And it's awesome. I was actually reading through this yesterday. And I, so when you go to the open, open uh, security training.info, you go to hit the train and you can go li literally like local hosted classes, locally hosted classes, my bad. And for example, beginners course, completely free, for example, hacking techniques and intrusion detection. So, you know, the class prerequisites, so understanding of networks and network protocols, operating system concepts, basic knowledge about programming languages, basic knowledge about information security. So if you have the, you know, bare minimum basics, and I'm guessing the lab requirements, you need VirtualBox running, you know, so a Linux system with VirtualBox running the following VMs. So different Windows XP, 2003, Windows 7. I'm assuming for this, because this from the operating system, these are pretty old exploits. <laughs> Even though it's in, you can see that it says Backtrack, Backtrack R3, those are before Kali Linux. And Metasploitable 2, you can get that right on the internet. It's a, it's a vulnerable Linux system, so you can um, put it in a pen test lab, and you can just go to town on it and learn. It's awesome. I actually have it in my, in my little lab. And... You know, class textbook. So I'm guessing you can just click on here. This is uh, probably because I'm running a VPN. But, and you get the idea. You can just look through here and let's see. Let's, for example, let's go down a little bit more. Learn, blah, blah, blah. blah. Oh, here we go. The class materials. This is what I want to check out. So for example, for day one, um, cause I was looking at this the other day, I'm like, where is this now? So social engineering, it's 51 slides. So if we want to open up the um, PDF, right? We can zoom in and we can see 
all of the material, like you know, license under blah blah blah. You know, you are free. You can share this. So who am I? This is the this is the person that put together this uh, cool class or cool slides for social engineering. Uh, Kickstarting notes. The course will cover you know different topics from offensive point of view. Blah blah blah. And you get the idea. It's pretty neat. It's awesome. Like I said, I don't want to go off on a tangent. This uh, this pretty uh, tab, you know, you can support my page by liking, subscribing, sharing. And it's just cool to, to share with the community. And the last but not least, Vonehub. Vonehub is an awesome, um, awesome little site. You can download the virtual machine. So say, for example, you have a powerful machine on your you know, you have a powerful host machine, right? With VMware Workstation or VirtualBox. Say for example, let's search for Mr. Robot. Everyone knows Mr. Robot, right? So Mr. Robot, for example, we have this little guy. We have this. So Mr. Robot, and this, this was released four years ago, but by Leon Johnson. So, but you get the idea. You can download this OVA. The OVA is the virtual machine image file that is hosted on their website and based on the show mr robot the vm contains three hidden keys in different locations your goal is to find all three each key is progressively difficult to find so the vm isn't too difficult blah blah blah, blah. you know and you just download it and if you do get stuck this is you know try to you know obviously it all depends on your your level but try to find the keys do ls do some stuff that you know you know navigate do locate you know there's some cool you know if you have the basic uh linux commands down you know just just give it a go and if you do stump your head and you you're like damn it i can't i can't figure it out you know what you can do is cool here like they have walkthroughs so obviously it's like three years ago but it's still like the write-up for example we can look at uh christopher's Right, Christopher, right? Yeah. So, for example, this is his IP. Obviously, you know, it all depends on the network that you're running on, but I'm assuming. I I, I did this a long time ago, probably like a year and a half ago I did this one. But you got the you get the idea, you know. So it'll show you some walkthroughs, robot.txt and blah blah blah. blah. So I'll give you the walkthrough. I don't want to, you know, spoil it, you know, like because maybe you guys want to do this uh, VM and this challenge. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to jump on because I was given some, I was getting some requests on, uh, I posted my, you know, the video on Twitter, Instagram, my Facebook pages. And, you know, they were asking me about some sites to get started. And like I said, Hack the Box is a little more difficult uh, I like Try Hack Me because you know you log in, you create an account, and you're rocking and rolling. You know, same thing with Hack This Site. You just sign up, and you you go, go to the basic missions, and you know just like right here, and bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. All right, cool. So again, happy holidays. Be safe, and uh, I'll be making some new videos coming soon. Have a good one. Take care, guys.